<laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck. We play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Tardleg Joe, and today we're looking at Shiranui Toolbox 2019 Edition. And uh, I'll be perfectly upfront with this. This is not the best Shiranui build you can find. Uh, this is probably not even the best Shiranui deck that I could build. I actually built a second version of this that had Doom King Baller Drock and a lot of the new Zombie World support in it that was uh, a lot more powerful. It was also really boring. It was a lot of sitting on this and then the Shiranui's were just sort of like a backup. And I'm coming off of two Patreon episode requests in a row. Those kind of feel like work. I've got another one next episode. So I decided I would just play something that I thought was fun. And I really like the Shiranui's, the pure Shiranui's. Uh, about as pure as you can get with zombies. Uh, just using the toolbox elements they can get. I like the synchros, I like how they all sort of do their own thing. They've got a lot of neat spell traps. It may not be super effective, but I'm definitely going to enjoy playing it more. And hopefully you'll enjoy watching it more as a result. Now if you just want a deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate shorter video there. I'll go over everything in here, just explain how it works, why I chose what I did. Otherwise, in this video, I'm playing 10 random duels against opponents on YGO Pro. I'll be testing this out, showing you some combos, and hopefully, we'll have a little fun. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are. First duel versus Revenger Aku, the shape-shifting master of darkness. Good old, good old Samurai Jack. I never saw the, the revise of that. I heard it was kind of weird. They had a shoot-in love, love interest. And we're going first, which we don't want is a toolbox deck. We generally want to react to what our opponent does. Uh, let's just do this and hope we don't get ashed. Oh boy, drawing desires off of desires. My favorite. Uh... Set, and set, and there we go. And you can see why... <laughs> Granted, the other version of this deck had sort of the same problem. It was a go-first deck, but... If you didn't get certain things, you're you're gonna have some troubles. Um, you could reveal this from your hand. You choose. Okay, that destroys a face down. Oh hey, I got rid of that, and he's not destroying my twin twisters. Granted, it might not help him. Oh, I lost both of my Shiranui tuners. Fuck. I mean, those aren't super useful. Okay. Interesting. Yep, I might lose to this regardless. Oh hey, this seems like a good thing to go go stack uh, uh, ash blossom. No. <laughs> good old ash blossom. I made a I made a Yugi poop, uh which is what I call it. I, I make these weird things. Joe, go ahead and just put it up here. You can equip a face down monster? I did not know that. Alright, interesting. But yeah, I make these things I call Yugi Poops. They're like weird edits of cards that look really goofy. Um, hire a samurai. I've been posting them on my uh, my Twitter. If you know, I have a Twitter at Hard Leg Gaming. You could check that out. Uh, but I I post like goofy memes and other funny little things and stuff on there. Well, am I dead? I might be dead already. Oh no! Yeah, I, I post those, and I decided to use that as my negation because I've got uh, the ash blossom in here. Because it's a it's a fire. Oh, I guess I should have uh, used twin twisters when I had the chance. Yep, I guess I'm just dead then. Doesn't seem like the best way to do for hires, but I guess it works if your opponent literally can't do anything. And of course, like all people, even though he won, even though he clearly already had game, he's going to continue to do more stuff just because he can. Just because I guess he wants a good replay or something. I don't know. Either way, we lost. Let's go ahead into the second duel, and maybe I can actually do what this deck does. <laughs> Alright, here we are, second duel. Arch Nemesis player. Hopefully, we will get a chance to actually do things this turn. That last duel was a fluke. You know, you desires into desires. You go first when you want to go second. You go up against dangers. 
possibly the most broken archetype at the moment. We're going to go ahead and use Pot of Desires. Yeah, there are a lot of things I was trying to say last episode, and then I got distracted. But yeah, I'm playing Ash Blossom in this. Hello, Ash Blossom. Um... Mmm, ah, uh, mmm, ah... Uh, yeah, we're good. No. <laughs> no, you're not allowed. Um, let's see, I could Twin Twister, but I don't really want to get rid of any of these. These are all kind of good, although this I need to discard a monster and they need a monster, so... Maybe I should discard this? Need a zombie, um... Yeah, you know what, let's go ahead... We're gonna play Risky, we're gonna play the grind game. Two for two, what can you do? But yeah, I'm playing Ash Bloss... Interesting. Why not chain reincarnation? That doesn't seem like a great thing to do. Two of my Unizombies are gone, but I banished another Desire, so... Less likely to draw into one of... Ooh, a part of me, one of those. Let's go ahead. Spectral Sword. Attack. Show him the meaning of attack. Yeah, I'm getting all, I'm all over the place. There's so much to explain. But yeah, the, re the reason I'm playing Ash Blossom, normally I don't play Hand Traps, but it actually has a lot of synergy with the, the Shiranui's because it's a fire zombie tuner. And, um... Uh, Alright. Interesting. Um... Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna let that go through. Yeah, it's a fire zombie tuner. All the Shiranui's are fire zombies, if you were unaware. Great. <laughs> Too many spell traps. Uh, set that. Hope we can't get OTK'd. Not having the best showing. I was like, I'm gonna play a fun deck. I'm gonna play the more fun variant of this. And it's like, now I'm getting instant regret. It's like, where are all the combos? I have all the spell traps. That's part of the reason I want to play this, because these two spell traps are really, really, or these two traps are really cool in the Shiranui's, but if you're playing a more focused deck like the Baller Troc version that I was playing, you can't really fit those in. Where are my monsters? <laughs> uh, if I had any other monster... See, now I've got nothing but the spell traps, which is the problem you run into. Um... And I think that's probably game. Well then. Um, and that's getting get, but that's fine. This thing is mostly, it's like a continuous spell, and it's like you can banish a Shiranui, and then they can't negate your summons for a turn, or you can banish a zombie you control, and then send a Shiranui from your deck to the graveyard. Um, and the Shiranui's, it's mostly here because the Shiranui's get cool effects when they're banished. And, uh, this just basically allows you to banish one from the graveyard. The problem is, we didn't really draw any monsters except for this one, and this is, like, one of the few that doesn't get an effect when it's banished. I guess we, we bricked would be a good way of saying it. Uh, what do, yeah, again. Oop, that's his graveyard. It's a fact, one, two, yeah, a lot of our monsters, if we had gotten this or this or any of these, really, we would have had a much better chance. But we just drew all our spell traps and none of the monsters to negate them. So another disappointing duel, but surely this can't this can't last forever. Someone <laughs> someone was saying on the the Discord before they're like, well, you got ten out of ten last episode, so this this episode you got to go zero out of ten to balance it out. It's the eternal karma. I certainly hope not. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, okay, I, I, for, I almost forgot, I got completely distracted by the quick losing, but uh, this duel brought to you by Patreon sponsor, um, Your Friendly Neighborhood Mushroom. Uh, thank you? It, it's a mushroom, that's what he wanted me to say, that's what I'm saying. Thanks to Mushroom, uh, down, down in the comments. Uh, let's go into the third duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are, third duel versus Phantasmal. At least we get to choose to go second. Um, hopefully this isn't Phantasm Spiral Dragons. You, you, that's spelled with a PH, I believe. I mean, I have Twin Twisters, so I have a chance. Oh, hey, it's a Rescue Kitty. 
It's a cute little adorable kitty. Uh, you gonna make a Naturia beast? No! Tan Nongs Deer Sturster, the Nordic beast! And Transmingir, and Golivang of the Nordic Ascendant. I've, I've played Nordics once, and I completely underestimated them. They're, they're a bit underwhelming, they don't really have any sort of quick effects, but I can't, I can't target that with card effects. So he's gonna have like a 4,000 that I can't target, and if I destroy it by other ways, he can like bring it back. It's not like amazing, but it's nothing to underestimate. Odin is still, still a thing. Um, let's see. During the end phase, if this card was destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you could banish one Nordic Ascendant Tuner. So I can't target it. I've got to destroy it by, like, a battle somehow. I can't target this for, um... While well, it points to an Azar, you can't target that also your opponent cannot. So i got to target this with a card effect, and then I can target that with a card effect. Um, fortunately I have that, and I have, I have Unizombie, which gets all your plays going. He's like Discount Play Starter Warehouse. Um, let's see here. So... We're going to increase his level. We could send something. Unless you... Nope. nope mm, ah. Well then. Um... Hmm. What do I want to send? I think I just need to send... Mazook. I think I need to gook my mazook, if you know what I'm saying. Um, yep, we're just going to bring this back. Hello? I can't use its other effect again, I'm pretty sure, but I can increase its level. And discard this mazook, which gets one more mazook out of my graveyard. And at least we've got Swallow Slash, which is, uh... Whatchamacallit's... It's Icarus attack, but for zombies, and also better in a lot of ways. So we'll see. If we, if we can get another card on the field, that would be great. I just need him to get two cards on the field. Okay, he's unaffected by spell traps. Um... I have to destroy two, so I think that's actually... Do I want to take four... Th I'm going to take 4,000 anyway. Yeah, let's go ahead. That's fine. It's only half my life points. Surely I cannot lose entirely. Actually, I think I've already got it. What's happening? Okay. Um... Okay, so yeah, I've got the Mazook, so I can normal summon the... Okay. So, let's do the Mazook first. Get this guy out of here. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Um... We're gonna send our third and final Mazook to the graveyard? Okay, no we're not. No. No, you're not. Um, okay. We're going to discard Shiranui Solitaire. Um, all I have is Mizukis. We're going to normal summon Samurai. We're going to take a lot of damage. Um, pretty sure. Yes, but this will get rid of his things, and that's what he wants. So, this guy, awesome, awesome effect. You can banish a zombie. I think it's just as yeah, any zombie from the graveyard. He goes up to 2400. More importantly, any card he attacks is banished at the end of the phase. So I'm going to take, I'm still going to take the damage. But that's banished, so it's not coming back. I love this non-targeting banishing. It costs the attack, but you know, it, it does, it also, it's a quick effect, so you can activate it during either player's turn. And it banishes stuff, which, if we weren't getting hand trapped to the point where I couldn't put anything into the graveyard, there's a whole bunch of cool toolboxy things where... You get Shiranui's into the graveyard, and they get different effects if you banish them. But now he's he's used a lot of his resources. Oh, hey. An eater of millions! Billions, perhaps? He's going to banish me face down, but that's actually fine. 
Oh, hey, even better. Because now I can use this. Tribute, destroy two cards. Banish a card. Let's go ahead and banish... Uh... Yeah, I think this is probably the best to do. When she's banished, you can draw a card, discard a card. Hey, there's my last Mizuki. Just what I always wanted. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and use Shade. You can tribute him. Summon a Shiranui. And a non-Shiranui from your, your deck. Or from your... From that. Um, is it... But negate their effects. That's fine. We're just gonna make Vampire Sucker. Hello. Then we're gonna use one of our Mizukis. Get this guy out of here. This guy can tribute himself. A uh, draw card, yeah. Tribute himself. Get a dang old. Unizambi. Send something to the graveyard? Yes. I'm going to send this guy because that'll be useful for other things. Other Mazook. Summon out... Yes, this guy. Hello. Um, that's gonna be... Yeah, I think that's gonna do more damage than if I synchro, so we'll try that. Attack. 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 Just call me the tax man. I'm a tax in all sorts of things. And he's got one card to do something. So I beat Nordix, most likely. Unless he, I don't know, Ragek? If he's gonna hit me with Ragek, I'm gonna be pretty sad. Nope, but he didn't surrender right off the bat, so at least there's that. I'm just gonna make sure, just in case, we'll banish that. In a more grindy game, if he did have plays, we can banish this. And then when you banish Solitaire... Yep, he just surrendered. You banish Solitaire and it summons a Shiranui from the, the banish zone other than itself. So you get this back and then you contribute it and get two more back. And then you can make like a Link 4 and then Synchro all the way. So at least we got one win. We managed to out this mostly through the power of Samurai. Criminally underrated card. Something you don't really play in the, the non-pure Shiranui. So I'm happy we could at least do that. Let's go ahead into the fourth duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Fourth duel brought to you by Patreon sponsor, Twitch.tv slash Princess Chod Father, who is the Twitch of, uh, Chod. Uh, the, the, the Chod Father, as he is sometimes called. Who has been a long time patron. He streams on Twitch. I have not checked him out. I probably should have before this, but I I'm just confident that whatever he does, it's probably pretty interesting. I think he plays, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! games, Pokemon games. You could go check those out if you're interested. Um, we're going up against a deck that I don't want to go up against. Oh, it's Galaxies, which is not as bad, but it's still kind of bad. Sadly, at least we've got some stuff we can do, so I'm probably not going to get OTK'd. Depending on what he does. But we still might take some damage. This is actually like, you got two Mizukis and that's not really where you want to be. Um, okay. If one of these was any Shiranui, I would be in a much better position. But we're getting weird hands. Oh, just going for Hyperstar? Curious. Oh boy, he's getting all sorts of things. I have a feeling I'm going to be a sad boy. With sad boy toys. Negates! I don't like those! Ooh! Alright, but I'm not dead. I'm not dying, so there's that. A lot of stuff happens as cost, so I might be able to do a thing. We'll see. Can I out this? It depends what I draw pretty heavily. That is, this would have been good to have last turn, buddy. I could have stopped this from coming out. Uh, as it stands... 
Um, okay. Try that. Will you negate? Or will you let me summon my things? I would kind of like to summon my things. I'd like to have them here. Yeah. All right. Um. Yes. And this is probably the best move. We go for this. At this point, I have a plan. We're just trying to... We're just trying to get him to negate. So let's see if he stops this. All right, I think he's just sort of like waiting, but he doesn't realize he's giving me like all the resources in Resource City. Send one card. From the deck to the graveyard. And we're gonna send Spirit Master. Because, hey, I've got this thing. I think I told you about it before, where you can, like, banish a Shiranui from the graveyard. And that allows you to, uh... It's like, banish a zombie from the graveyard. Normal and special summons of zombies can't be negated this turn. That doesn't really help, because no one really plays counter traps. It's mostly really good, because I can, uh... You know, banish this Spirit Master I just sent. And when he's banished, he pops a card. And everybody likes to pop the cards. Even if he hadn't let all this go through, I could have, like... What I was planning to do was just, uh... Mizuki, one of these level fours, if, another Mizuki if need be. Normal summon Ash Blossom, and then make a level seven, because I have one that can pop a monster. Yo, what's up? How about you die, please? Because, yeah, when he's banished, destroy a card. So now he's having to negate something, and he doesn't want to negate it. Um, which is fine, because now I can Mizuki, like I always, like Mama always wanted. Get this out. Um, let me think about this. Now you know how I feel. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for this one. Good old beat stick. So when this guy's summoned, banish the sheer, banish a zombie, gain that much attack. So I banish that one. Hey, this guy was banished. Let's bring this back. And then I could maybe do other stuff... Uh, yeah, I could. Let me think about this. Um, calculating, calculating. Nah, I think it's best. Fuck. Um. You can target one of your banished zombies, put it back. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to think this through, because I finally get a chance to do something fancy. Alright, bring that back out. I can still normal summon, right? Yes. So then what we're going to do, we're going to make... Uh, this, yes. Normal summon. Then we're going to make Spirit Saga. Spirit Saga is going to banish a monster and then it gains effects depending on what you banish. I'm going to banish the Synchro. All monsters gain 300. Destroy one spell trap on the field? No, I don't want to do that. Destroy one monster on the field? Yes. Get rid of that. And then we can attack. Okay, so yeah, before he would have lost two monsters, now he's losing three. He still has this, which is not as good. But that's fine. 
He gets that back. I could attack into that, but that's not really going to do anything. So we go here, and then what we're going to do, make Splendid Saga. So splendid, much saga, wow. Your move. And then I believe, yes, okay. So this thing's nice. Synchro monsters can't be destroyed by card effects, and fire monsters can't be destroyed by battle. And this is synchro fire, so it can do a whole lot of stuff. Um, let's see. Target five photon galaxies, shuffle them into the deck, draw two cards. Can't prevent that. So we're good. Reinforcements of the army, all right. I'm just waiting for him to summon something. Like that. Ooh, camp, okay. Return, okay. Gotcha. Search, all right. And then he's got the other one he could summon too, right? Okay, he's galaxy soldiering. Hmm. I might be in for a trickier pickle than I imagined. Alright, he got that. He can't normal summon anymore. He could make like a rank 4. He could make... So what I need to destroy... Okay, so here's what I need to do. During your opponent's turn, you can summon a banished... Um... Zombie Synchro. So we're summoning this. When this is summoned... I get to banish a card and gain that much attack. When this is banished, I get to destroy a monster. And I'm going to go for this one. Because he can summon Galaxy Eyes Photon if he has two monsters with 2,000. So I need to get rid of one of these that has 2,000. And he can make a rank 4 if he has one that has 2 level... Oh, I forgot he had that. Okay, I should have paid attention to the fact that he had that. But it's perfectly fine. It's not perfectly fine. He can't make, um... Okay, yeah, you can make Galaxy Soul Flare, but I can't be destroyed by card effects. He can make... Yeah, okay, we're good. Ooh, Galaxy Transer. This guy still can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. Their effects are negated. Oh, but he could still target them. Damn. Can't be destroyed by battle, but I still take the damage. He could banish that, but this says... Uh, monsters you control cannot attack your opponent directly for this turn, except for this one. So I'm not going to die. I'm just going to take damage. Um, and this one goes to the right. So let's go ahead and put this here. Because that way I'll have a target over on the side. Uh, what do I have in the grave? No Shiranui's, fuck. And he gets a negate because it's level 8. Damn. And he's going to destroy that. No, he's going to destroy that. He knew. Oh, yeah, because he got that. And it's, okay. Oh, boy. Underestimating this. Not that it can do a whole lot. Or... Anything, really. This is a one-of that I play, because you could dump it into the graveyard and do stuff. Um, let's see. Only uses effects. Synchro monsters. Fire. Okay, so I still can't be control destroyed by battle. But I'm going to be taking 700. No, that's 25, so... Yeah, I'm just going to attack this, because I could kill it. Uh, 
All right. He's like, I'm just going to get that back. I think I've lost, unfortunately. We'll see what I can top deck. We'll see if I can do anything. But I'm pretty sure you could just detach, blow me up, and then attack for game. Yeah. A sad state of affairs. But you know what? I'm fine with losing as long as stuff happens. This is a pretty decent, like, back and forth kind of game. Um, does he have 900 more than me? Exactly. Exactly, game. So yeah, we lost, but it's fine, because I at least got to show off kind of what this deck can do. We just got a little bit out-resourced. This deck, again, doesn't really have any negates. It has a lot of disruption, but he had a lot of... I could special summon all these monsters and do all these things. It at least was a fun duel. Let's go ahead into the fifth and see if we can get another fun duel in here. <laughs> Alrighty then, here we are, fifth duel versus imminent collapse. How very, very spooky sounding. I of course have a name, I won't say that name, not out loud, not while the memes are here. Ooh, ah, ah, hmm. Very tricky indeed. What to do, what to do. Um... Alright, so we're going to try Spirit Master. When Spirit Master summoned, I can summon another Shiranui from my hand in Graveyard. But, if that card leaves the field, it is banished. So I'm not going to let that card leave the field. Solitaire can tribute any zombie and summon a tuner, so I'm going to tribute that. And yes, just as I expected, Ash Blossom saying no. But that's fine. The reason we did that is so we had the two monsters. Now I have Swallow Slash. Now, once he gets two monsters out, I can actually do some stuff. I like having options. It's why I like this deck so much. I mean, it's not like my favorite deck or anyway, but that that's the thing I like about it. It's like, even if I get negated, I have, like, another option. Even though it's kind of normal summon reliant, I have so many things. Okay, well, that's not going to use be useful. Hmm... And I can't even activate this because I don't have two cards to destroy. But that's fine. If he gets out the uh, the field spell, I can just, like, tribute as soon as I start. Um, okay. And I've got an ash of my own, you see. Um, hmm. 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 Uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and try for this one. So, normal summon Squire. Squire will summon a Spectral Sword from the deck. And we're going to pick Spectral Sword Shade. Because level 7s are fun. You saw the level 7s that I made before. Hello. Yo, what's up? And I'm going to activate this. I can banish one one monster, one face-up monster you control or in your graveyard. Doesn't even have to be a zombie, but it gets effects if you have different things. If it's a zombie, you destroy, uh... Ooh, called by the grave. All right. Banishing that? All right. Whatever, nerd. You think I care? I do not care. Also, that was a bad move, because you're going to lose, unless it's Waking the Dragon. If it's Waking the Dragon, I might be... Oh, Time Thieves. All right. Okay, so we might have something. So I'm going to banish this one, because there's no point in banishing this now that he doesn't have a monster face up on the field. All monsters gain 300, because it was a zombie, and because it was fire, I could destroy one spell trap. Um, oh yeah, I can use this effect, haha, <laughs> except for it's negated, but that's fine, 2400. And neither of these, yeah, so if it's a zombie, all monsters gain 300. Fire, destroy a spell trap, synchro, destroy a monster. So it can banish itself and destroy a monster spell and tra- or yeah, a monster, a trap, and gain 300. Which is pretty nice, and neither of those target, which is also pretty nice. 
Um, let's see here. We're going to do that same thing we did earlier. Hello? Uh, all right. That's actually kind of fine. That's all right with me. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to... Oh, wait, no, this is even better. Um, banish that in the graveyard. All monsters gain 500. Destroy a spell trap on the field. Goodbye. Thank you. Come again. I'll just attack you for significant amounts of damage. Because I can do that if I feel like it. And I still have that, and I still have Ash Blossom, so I feel like I'm doing... I'm, I feel like I've got a pretty good handle on things. I really like Squire Saga. Squire Saga, probably my favorite of the Shiranui synchros. Although, Shogun Saga can attack for a whole lot. He's pretty cool, too. We haven't, like, OTK'd yet, though this deck can. Maybe that'll be one of those things I have to show in the replay. Either way, we just got through with five duels. Let's go to the halfway mark thing. <laughs> Yo, what's up, fuckers? Welcome to the halfway point. We're in between the first five duels and the next five duels. Nothing divides us but the wind through the wills. And I just wanted to take a moment and be like, you know, if you like this show, if you're enjoying yourself, maybe, you know, you're doing a little hanky-panky under the table just thinking about it, go to suggest... Go to check out my Patreon. You know, I got, I got a Patreon. This is an ad-free channel at the moment. So if you, you pay, so if you like the show, you can pay a dollar and it helps support the show. I make the show better. I do goofy shit. It's, it's fun. You get Yu-Gi-Oh content. I've also got a Let's Play channel. You could support that too if you want. I don't know. Either way, there's rewards. You see these here sleeves? Look at those. I made those. They're pretty nice. You can get those over on the, uh, on the, the Patreon. You can get one of them dang old shout-outs you've seen. I make real sleeves. I do all sorts of shit. Just check it out. Patreon.com slash hardleggaming. You know, and, you know, do that. Do the thing. I'm, I'm telling you to do it. <laughs> all right, here we are in the sixth duel. What goofy voice. I don't know what you're talking about. And this episode's brought to you by Patreon sponsor, Slamuel, who slams down. He slammed right down on that, uh, that, that donate button. I tell you what, he recently went up to the hundred dollar level. That's on par with, with, uh, Lord Patron Supreme himself, Joe Average. So thanks to him for that, and thanks to you for this. Um, all right, we've got Banisher of the Radiance and a whole bunch of other. We've got Stall.deck, but he doesn't know that banishing stuff is going to help me. So let's go ahead and Unizombie. Let's go ahead and send from the deck. And we're going to send, uh, I don't know, probably the one that uh, destroys stuff when it's banished. How about fuck you? Oh, would you look at that? It's banished, so you can't use it anymore. Let's go ahead and target him. Um, put that in the grave. Oh, wait, no, he's not dead yet. Oops. That's fine. I'm just a little dumb. And he's like, you can't attack with 1500 or lower. Like, guess what? 1300! I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, we're gonna set. Um... Yeah, I was supposed to attack and I was so, I was so happy with myself for doing that that I was, I completely forgot. So, we're good. Hopefully, if he, if he doesn't, well, no, even if he gets, like, Gren Maju to Aiza, he can't attack. Unless he doesn't pay for this. But I'm probably gonna be able to destroy that before this. Um. Yeah, okay. I'll draw. Why not? Drawing is something I like to do. And he can't attack. Good. Most good indeed, Doolin. Um. Hey, guess what? You know that thing I did? I'm going to do it again. And you're going to be sad. 
Because you're the one who's allowing it to happen. There we go. Normal summon. Let's go ahead and make this girl. She good. Oh, hey, Solitaire has an effect when it's banished. I'll summon this guy back. Yo, what's up? Um, yeah, let's just attack over that. Your banishing is really helping me out, guest. You really are a good house guest. Oh, yeah, he takes no damage because of uh, the, the thing that everyone always forgets for every, every situation. Um... Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm just going to save that in my hand. We're good. Again, unless he suddenly, like, comes up here with Gren Maja de Aiza and just, like, OTKs me. Oh, you're resetting all my stuff? Well, thank you. I had a banished Mizuki and everything, and now it is back to where it belongs. Now you're putting that guy in the group. You're so, you're so kind. I just can't, can't thank you enough. Soul Absorption. Now you're going to gain life points every time you want to gain life points. Um, let's go ahead and use this finally. You can discard a zombie. Um, summon a Shirinui. And he just surrendered because he was going to get... He was going to get hit with a lot of damage. And it would not have helped him that much. And this could have blown that up. He would have gained all the 500 life points before it died and then done other stuff. So, yeah, a complete mismatch, but you know what? I'm going to take it, because I always love when stuff like that happens. You got a guy who's like, aha, they won't be able to do anything when they're banished. And I'm going to be like, aha, I love to be banished. I crave it, in fact, and you have done nothing but assist me in my banishing goals. <laughs> Next duel. Alrighty, here we are, seventh tool versus Vinnie Mac. Gonna go second, as always, because this is a toolbox deck, which means it's about reacting to what your opponent has. You see what they have, and then you can choose which Shiranui to summon from the deck, or if you've got ones in the graveyard, you could choose which ones to banish, or if you've got Unizombie, you choose which one to send to the graveyard, or if you can Synchro, you choose which of the Synchros best suits you. It doesn't work as well as I would like. If there were more ways to search zombies, that would be cool. Um, what is this? Duel links? Place one spell counter. Um, sorry. Sorry. No level up for you. A sad state of affairs. Uh, let's go for this one. Doing all the things that we like to do. Summon out this. Hello. Make best girl. Who's actually just that girl with the sword. It, it fits. And then we're going to banish. Um, we could banish Ash, but let's banish her because then we'll get an actual effect. Destroy a spell trap? Yes. Squire effect? Yes. Draw a card? Discard a card? Yes. Um, attack? Sure. Why not? I've been known to attack from a time to time. Then we'll set this, then we'll set that, then we'll go there, and you can have a hat. This is a really old school deck. Playing level ups and mirror forces. I'm curious what else he has. That went super fast. I mean, we won. That, that's always a good thing. I did some stuff. I saw the tool. See, is it exactly the tool? I saw what he needed, and I chose the right one. Uh, but let's see what you playing, old school man. <laughs> you guys will have to let me know if you like these little detours, looking at what other people are playing. Some people, I, I, it seems almost... Uh, not necessarily mean, but sort of like rude, like peeking under the hood, like, ooh, what do you got there? Just sort of looking at another man's deck, but it's interesting to see. All right. Interesting. Rank up. Rank up silence. Silent rank up. He's got the silent swordsman and the silent magician. 
playing photon lead and level modulation. Does he have three ofs? No, it looks like he's just playing two mirror force and two spiritual swords revealing light. That's kind of weird. And like a whole bunch of one of rank up magics. He's ranking up and leveling up. It's the best of both worlds. And yeah, he's just got a whole bunch of rank ups. Maybe it's based off a real deck he has. I don't know. Hard to say. Needless to say, it doesn't work all that well. I'm trying to remember, even if he got Silent Magician, what's the next step up? Silent Magician level 8's not great. It's unaffected by spells, but I still probably could have beaten over it. And then, oh, it's this one that floats into that, not the other way around. For some reason, I was like, oh, that's a pretty good thing, and it floats, but it doesn't. I could just target it with effects and get rid of it, or just boost up, so. Decent to see something interesting being played, but not the best build by any means. Uh, either way, let's go ahead into the 8th duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are, 8th duel, brought to you by Patreon sponsor Lucas Geardis who, I'm not sure if I said it before, but he's quickly joining the pantheon of well-known uh, patron sponsors. Um, and we're going first again, which sucks. Let's go ahead, we're going to see if we can go ahead and send Mizuki to the graveyard. That would be neat. Oh hey, they're gonna let us send Mizuki to the graveyard. What do you know about that? Um, Pot of Desires? Now that we've got a Mazook in the graveyard. Alrighty, uh. Darn. I can't really. Well, let's see. I could send this to my graveyard, but that would make him level 5. And I don't think I have any level. No, I do. I have Yoko, but Yoko is not really all that great. Um, but we do have this, which will always stall us a turn. So, we're going to try that. And see what happens. If you're unfamiliar, Continuous, um, its name becomes Shiranui Style Synthesis, which is important for one card. Neat. Um, banish one face up zombie you control, and you take no damage this turn, even if this card leaves the field. Um, hmm. Well, I don't want him to search or do any of that, so. I'm just going to Twin Twister this right now. I'm going to get rid of this because it's the least important thing in our hand. Goodbye, Moon. Blows up his field. But yeah, you can either banish a zombie you control, and you take no damage for this turn, even if this card leaves the field, or target two banished zombie monsters with zero defense, shuffle them into the deck, draw a card. So, like, there's no reason for me to have this in the graveyard. Um, oh, wait, yeah, there is, because I can Mizuki it out. Never mind, we're just going to let that happen. But, you know, if he, if he had summoned a whole bigger field, I could have banished this, just take no damage. And then once you banish two, you could start shuffling them back in. Um, so let's go ahead and mazook. Yo, what's up, boo-boo? You can negate that while it's on the field. Ha-ha! Aha, ho ho, hee hee, far far. Good old Fire Kings. I should probably try playing them again. Huh? Hmm? Huh? Alright. Um. So what do? What do I have in Graveyard? Is it just that guy and a bunch of spell traps? Yes. Let's see, and I don't really want to... I don't know, what's up with these hiccups? Um, yeah, I think what I really need to do is actually... Okay. Let's... Oh, I banished the other ones. Big oof. Biggest oof. Um, and I don't have any because I can't even activate this. Yep. Rookie mistake, you always want to check your banished pile after you've Pot of Desires. For whatever reason, I didn't consider that maybe my two other Unizombies were gone. Alright, well, that is an unfortunate series of events. 
And my other Shiranui tuner is gone as well. Yep, which means I can't even normal summon this and get its effect. A sad state of affairs. Wait, yes I can. Okay. So what I'm going to do... I'm just going to banish that right off, take no damage this turn. Then next turn, I can shuffle this back. No, I don't have two that are... Okay. Um, add one Fire King from your hand to your graveyard. Um, No. No, I'm going to say no. Oh, but he can negate that. Oh, while well, this monster is on the field. Okay. Gotcha. But he can't negate this. So worse comes... I don't know. We'll see. We'll be back once his turn is over. I'm taking no damage this turn anyway, so... Regardless of what he does, it's not going to hurt me. <laughs> Alright. Well, we've got another Fire King. Fire Island. Which would destroy everything, but then... Um, yeah, that would get rid of this. I'd just be left with nothing else and no way to draw cards. The question is, what do I want more, to draw cards or to do other things? I can't let him get that on the field because I'm Fire King Island. Um, oh, wait, no, if he does that now, okay. Um... Target one, special summon it, but its effects are negated. Um, this is destroyed. You can add one Fire King. Okay, so I need to get this off the field. And I think the best way to do that is to do this. Because all he can get back out is Barong. And Barong's just going to help him search. But I don't think he can pile... That's the thing about Fire Kings, is I can't really put on a whole lot of damage really quickly. He's definitely searching faster than I am. But I think the most that I can take is, like, 1,800... I have to control a monster for him to use that other one, so the fact that I don't have anything... Oh, he's got a third Ganesh. Okay, so normal summon Ganesh, I take another 1800. Top decking already. How did I even get to this position? Another supply squad. Ooh, Fire Fist. Alright, well that's not something I was expecting. Old school. Ouch, my most of me. Bear Tanky Pop. A sad state of affairs. Oh, wait, it has to target a monster. Okay, I'm good. He can do more damage than I expected. Now, if I can continue to use this, I might just be able to deck him out? I don't know, I've got severely less cards than he does. We shall see, but I'm not sure if I could come back from this. This is the worst when you're just top decking and you have like no no options, and you know that you're not going to be able to draw a Unizombie because all your Unizombies are banished. That's why you're in this situation in the first place. Oh hey, that would help if I could activate card effects, but I can't really. Um. Oh, but that's a. That's a cost. That is a... Did I... No! What? No! I hate the world. How did I... Okay. I guess I need to take a break after this duel. I don't know how I did that. 
I did not intend to set it, but setting it is the worst possible thing of all worlds. If I had done it face up, I could have, like, banished one of these as cost, and even if he negates it, the banish still happens, and then I could get some kind of effect. Um... And then I could, like, tribute this and do other things. Or I could activate this. If, if, if Even if it was face up, I could not take any damage, and then I could shuffle, but because I didn't take it, shove set it, it has to be face up. I'm, okay. Yeah, we'll just skip ahead, whatever. Well, I, mean, I lost that first one. I, I admit that. I mean, you, you saw it was pretty clearly. But I challenged him to a rematch and beat him pretty handily, showing that if I'm not trying to talk and do things at the same time, that I can't actually win. Maybe I'll put that at the replay, although it's not as satisfying because he just straight up surrendered after I did, like, two things bad. Which, I mean, you gotta give it to me, if nothing else. You know, I lost, but I let him defeat me. And then I, I challenged him to a rematch, but he's like, nah, I'm not doing that. Um, interesting deck, though. As far as I can tell, in all his searching, he never got Garunix. I don't think he's actually playing it. I think he's just playing a Varta, and then, like, sort of looping the negations over and over again. So it's like Fire King control. So that doesn't count, but it's a fun little bonus duel. Maybe I'll include it. Maybe I'll fast forward through it or something. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, let's go ahead to the ninth duel. <laughs> All right, here we are, ninth duel versus Yunchebrp.k. He's he's on all sorts of clans. Five card extra deck, very interesting. Uh, I took a little break in between, sat down, watched a little crash course, had a drink of my soda, you know, ate some tortilla chips, just had a dandy old time. Hopefully, that'll make my mind a little more clear, so I'm not making such such egregious mistakes when playing this deck. I really do need to practice with playing more, I guess, longer? I don't know. The thing is, like, I, I test this on stream, and I'll sit down for, like, five, six hours and just play the, play a deck over and over and over again. But there, there's, like, music, there's people to talk to. Uh, it, it's not just me sort of, like, rambling to myself. It's weird to think, because it sounds like I'm talking to you. It sounds like I'm an announcer. I guess I am, but uh, at the same time, I'm just sort of like in a basement, talking into nothing, just sort of pretending there's someone listening, hoping, waiting for justice. Oh, um, let's see. What is this? Probably a thing. I like things. Let's go ahead. We're just going to go Unizombie combos. Unizombie combos. Because I've got a Mizuki in my hand, and I don't want that. So, let's go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and send... I don't have a level 3, do I? No, not that's not a, not, not a tuna. So, we're just going to send... We're gonna send this. Because I can. And then we're going to send the Unizombie from our hand. 
I don't have a... Oh, I do have a 9, but it's not something I really want to make. Um, but we don't have a whole lot of options. So that's what we're going to go for. We're going to make the 9. We'll have a setup for next turn. With nothing else, we'll have some stuff. I guess I could know that I don't have any way to summon from the graveyard at the moment. Yes, where they get new, new Shiranui uh, synchros, and instead of giving us a level 9, they decided to give us a level... Well... If I set this, he might banish it now, and I don't like that. Um... Do I risk it? Yeah, let's go ahead and risk it. We've got other plays we can make. Hopefully he can't OTK us over this because it doesn't actually have a thing. Maybe he'll just summon the regular blue eyes because he needs something to tribute. Maybe he's not playing Dragon Spirit of White. Maybe I should have summoned this, but then I would have had nothing to... Okay, he's playing Solid Dragon. Interesting. Target one face-up monster negate its effects. So, my effects are negated. That doesn't, this thing's only, only effect is that if it's summoned out of the graveyard. And the reason we play this, not only because it's a level 9, but it's also a zombie synchro who is fire. And he surrendered! Alright, no, that's fine. I was, I was looking forward to an intense matchup. I thought it was like, he's got a hundred more, but maybe I can blow things up. But if he gets Chaos Mass, Max Dragon, I, I only have like one or two cards that can out... Well, I guess I could out it with Shiranui Samurai if I'm willing to take the damage. But, uh, you know, that's fine. I'll take a win. Uh, let's go ahead into the tenth duel and see you, see how that turns out. <laughs> All right, here we are, tenth duel, brought to you by Patreon sponsor, Skilled Summoner. The most skilled summoner that we have on the Patreon. Going first, once again, not the best hand, but maybe we could do a thing, unless he's got that dang old Ash Blossom. I don't think I've actually been able to make, uh, what's him, what's him I call it? He has a name, and now I can't remember it. We're, we're about to make him, Time Lord Omega. Ooh, infinite impermanence, you say. All right, no. <laughs> no, it says. Ha! Bah, humbug. Um, that's fine, I've got a hand trap of my own, we'll see what you can do. Am I gonna get OTK'd by trains? Black Whirlwind? All right. Black Wings are neat. Uh, if you control no monsters, you can banish one other, place one black whirlwind from your spell trap. Alright. So he gets a black whirlwind. He normal summons. And then... And then I can be like, how about no... No black whirlwinds for you! You can just go sit in a pile of poo stew. I'm so sad, so very, very sad. That's what he's saying now. Now this guy, if you're wondering, you're level two. Uh, if he's in your graveyard and control two or more Shiranui's with different names, you can special summon it, but banish it when it leaves the field, and when it banishes, it gains 600 attack. There's some neat combos you can do with it. I play it at one of. Every once in a while, you want to dump it in the graveyard because you need that extra 600 attack if you need to, like, get over Utopia the Lightning. Shogun Saga can actually do that, or just if you need it to OTK. Um, and plus, you can put it in the graveyard. It's a free monster on board. Come on, buddy. I didn't surrender when you infinite and permanenced my Unizombie. You've still got more attack than me. You don't know what I got in my hand. Maybe you're thinking like, oh no, I've doomed myself. Now he's going to come back. And what you don't know is that all I have is an Ash Blossom and this thing that lets me banish one of the guys in my graveyard. This gives something 600 attack, so that's not useful. 
This summons a Shiranui that's banished, and I don't have... Okay, good, he's going. He's listening to reason. He could still make a big thing. He could still do a guy. Hey, yo, what's up? He still might be able to OTK me. Who knows? But he's not going to be able to get, like, a double search like he thought he was going to. He's got lower hands. Oh? Oh, yeah. He could still... Why... <laughs> Why do you wait so long complaining about stuff? You could still make your fucking towers. Towers, turbo. I mean, this thing isn't as powerful as tower. I, well, yeah, I guess it is as powerful as towers. No, it doesn't lower things attack. And it's, it's just unaffected by all card effects. I need to make a big strong man to get over that. And I can't do such a thing. Um... Let me think. What I can do, activate this. You can't twin twisters me. I'm just going to banish, um, what is this? Two zombie monsters with zero defense. Okay, I'm just going to banish that. Um, then I'm going to set this, normal summon this, your go. As soon as the turn starts, just before you can do anything, I'm just going to be like, I'm not taking no damage, I don't feel like taking no damage. Ain't nobody going to break my stride, ain't nobody going to move me down, uh-oh, I need to take no damage. And he's like, I'm not affected. I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure this makes me so I don't take any damage. I don't think this is like, oh, I'm unaffected by the thing that says, like, it affects me, right? Right? Stuff like that gets confusing sometimes. That's why they shouldn't print monsters that are just, like, unaffected by things. Or they should really have... One of the things that sort of caught me off guard when I played Magic the Gathering, uh, the couple times that I did, is that they'll be like, target one player, and like, do a thing. So it's like, and there you can target the players. And I think that would really help if you had cards that would just be like, uh, like, you, you, well, I don't know. You take no damage this turn. Maybe if it said, yeah, maybe instead of you, maybe if it said like, the controlling player, I don't know. I just feel like maybe there could be a way that they make this a little bit more clear that, like, this affects you, so it doesn't matter if that's unaffected, because you don't take any damage at all. Like, this is unaffected, but this isn't affecting that. This is affecting me. But sometimes stuff like that isn't all that clear, especially in the case of something like Creature Swap, where it gets really confusing over whether or not it works on monsters that are unaffected by things. Man, I think this guy must be in, like, Spain or something, just because of the way he's waiting. Maybe that's maybe that's why the waiting is happening, because it's lag. Not necessarily because he's, like, doing on stuff. Watch your time. Don't time out. Because that wouldn't make for a very sad... And he just surrendered. He just surrendered. He had He's sitting on towers. I had nothing. I get Next turn, I would have gotten a draw, and then I would have been able to get a second draw. Um, Wait, no, I wouldn't have, because it's two monsters with zero attack. So I would not have been able to get a draw. I would have been... I, I was just stalling. Oh, wait, no, I could have gotten, because I could have banished something with this. But either way, I'm stalling. It's still a long stall ahead of us. Um, but I'll take the win, but I'm not going to end it on that. Let's go ahead into a bonus 11th duel. Call everyone up. It's time for bonus duel. <laughs> At Aurora Borealis. At this time of the year, in this part of the country, localized entirely on YGO Pro, who would have thought it possible? 
Um, I had to make that eventually. This is this is likely the last chance that I'll get to make that joke. Um, and if you're wondering why my name is Aurora Borealis, I mean, get, you have a moment to to uh, to guess, to postulate. Go ahead. Do 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 do. Um, nah, I'm not liking that. Stop it. Get out of here with that. No. Um. But yeah, you had you had your chance. So Shiranui, from what I could tell, is actually a a a word. I believe it means mysterious lights in in Japan, and they they it refers to a phenomenon where sailors would see like fire burning out in the ocean, and it's believed to be some kind of atmospheric thing similar to the aurora borealis. Or it might have been luminescent jellyfish reflecting from underneath the water, but because it was dark, they couldn't see. There's a whole bunch of theories as to what it could be. As far as I can tell, it doesn't actually do anything these days. Um, he's got nothing he can tribute summon, so... Let's try this and hope I don't get, like, floodgate... floodgate assholed. Um... Send to the graveyard. Goes in match. There could only be one attribute of monster on the field. All right. That bothers me a little bit, but it doesn't bother me a lot of bit. Um. Let me think. Do I want to send that? Yes. Yes, I do. We're going to send this. And then what we're going to do is just be like, See me driving around town with the girl I love, and I'm like, fuck you. And I'm going to randomly hit this one and hope it's not like the trap that destroys my stuff. Damn it. It's the trap. What does it do? Um... Target one monster. Okay, he destroyed my stuff. I'm sad. I'm, I'm not that happy. I'm not that happy, um, but that's fine, because then what I'm going to do is do this. I'm going to banish this dude. Um, this dude will destroy... could just destroy this and get rid of everything, or I could destroy a diagram. Yeah, I think I want to keep his diagram away. Um, and then I could get this back out, but it doesn't have enough attack. So, I'm just gonna take 2300. I don't think he can stack on a whole bunch of damage, given the field he has currently, and the fact that I can stop his, his searches. Yeah, he's just 2400. Draw. Oh, he'll get to search anyway, so I'd rather have him do a random draw than a search, because if I activate anything... You can take one true... Yeah, I don't want him to be able to search a true Draco or a true King. I'd rather him get the random draw and see what it is. Okay, and then what I can do is, like, Mazook. Try to do Yuta zombie combos again. The Monarchs erupt. Activate if there are no cards in your extra deck and you control tribute summon monster. Negate the effects of all monsters, except for those... Negate the effects of all face-up monsters on the field. All right. Hmm. Do I have anything? So that's a level three. I could make the seven, and that's only 21, and its effects are negated. Damn. Um... I could, but that'd be 23, which is not enough to get over this. I need to be able to make something that can get to 24. Um, I could still banish, but I don't have anything to activate. Oh, uh, fuck. Shit, fuck. If only there was some way to increase its level by one, then I would be set. Um, and I 
could make a Link 3, but it, can, it has a hundred less attack than what I need. And none of my effects are going to work. If only I could... Yeah, if I could make eight! Oh, why can't I make eight? Um... Target one zombie, send it to the graveyard. Yeah, we're going to banish this because its effects negated. Why not? Floodgate.deck. Balls in your court, Mysterio. <laughs> Okay, geez, it took him a while to figure that out. How about no? Stop it. Send one zombie with zero defense to the graveyard? Yes. We're going to send this guy. And then we're going to set this guy. And then next turn, if I can do something, I can pop this by banishing Spirit Master. Or pop this, and then during the end phase, he'll control no tribute summon monsters. And then all my the effects will come back. So let's go ahead. We're gonna try to out grind the grind man. Yep, and he gets to search this time. Go away. Um, and then I can. <laughs> I can mazook my ghost dash out. That would be neat. Um, what could he possibly be setting in this? Probably a mono Iwato. I don't remember how much attack that has. Um, let's just set. Oh, it's during his end phase. Fuck. No, Inspector Border. Either way, 2,000. Too much. I should have just blown this up. Ha ha! Oh wait, no, he gets to draw again. But he can't attack this turn. Hopefully he didn't get another d damn it. Yep, I thought this was during the end phase. During your end phase. Son of a bitch. I would have destroyed this if I had known. I thought he couldn't attack if he used the other th Okay, whatever. At least his own insp- Oh no, I take no damage. Alright. Um... Yep, let's see where we can go. Pot of Desires, turn, turn, turn. Give me some stuff. Searching. They had to give him searching and recycling. Oh, hey, now I got my searching and recycling and not much else. Um... That's fine. Okay. Yep, we're gonna do this one. Banishing my Mazook of all things. Twenty-five. Mine's bigger than yours. My guy's bigger than your guy. My guy's twice the size that yours is. Um, target one of the true Draco or true King. That destroys spell traps, though. Yep. Oh, but then I just have the attack in the battle phase. Um, let's see. If this card is banished, you can target one face up. It loses 500 attack. Let's try it! Stop it. 
get some help. I think I've lost, sadly. If I had gone for this, I would have so many more things. Okay, I'm gonna play all the floodgates. It's gonna be a floodgate paradise. Nothing more fun than sitting on floodgates for an eternity. I wish this was Mirror Force right now. That would be nice. Shuffle and draw. Um. I'm not going to get anything, but it would be nice. A sad state of affairs, but at least it was more interesting than the other one. So we'll go ahead into the final, or not the final, into the... Oh, this would have been so good if I just had one more turn. The standard Yu-Gi-Oh thing. Maybe I should have played this less. I don't know. This guy's... I never really got to use this to its full capacity, too. It's like... To tribute a zombie, destroy two, and then banish a Shiranui. So if you banish the, uh, the, the, the sword master or whatever, you get to destroy three, which is pretty nice. But yeah, we'll go ahead to the end screen. <laughs> so there we go, ladies and gentlemen, Shiranui Toolbox 2019. We went six and five, six and four if you didn't count the bonus duel, which is about a little better than I expected. I thought this was a five at five at best. Of course, we didn't go against the greatest decks, nothing meta, most of the stuff we beat was was pretty bad. But like I said, this is not like some sort of great deck. This is a very casual deck. I just have a lot of fun playing it. I like all the different interactions between like, oh, you get this, and this can banish this, and this summons this, and then this can be used to make one of these. There's just a lot of neat combos and a lot of complications. I like complicated decks where different things interact like that. So hopefully you enjoyed at least a couple duels. You got to hear some funny voices. I don't know. Next week, I'm going to be looking at a uh, Patreon request. They want me to try to make wind-ups. Not sure if that'll be viable. I'll, I'll try to make it. If not, probably trains. Something with machines. I'll try to do machines next time on What a Deck. So until then, good luck and have fun. <laughs>